All right guys, so I got the new Emacs Tiny Hawk 3 ready to fly kit here. So this is a completely redesigned kit, obviously with the new, um, you know, basically a tiny whip drone and new goggles, a new transmitter, which is um, one of the big downsides of the previous kits. And I think um, even though I haven't opened this up yet, just based on the um, information I've been given, this is probably going to be the one I'll be recommending uh, going forward, but we'll just have to, you know, obviously test it out and make sure that everything is as good as advertised. So here's the case opened up. I haven't actually looked at any of this stuff yet. You're looking at it at the same time I am. Everything's still covered in plastic. I actually don't even know how many batteries we get here. I'm sure we get at least a couple, hopefully. Okay, so pulling the plastic off here, this is the goggles. And here is the new controller. Of course, we'll take a closer detailed look at all this stuff here. I'm just gonna show you a quick unboxing first. Here is the new Tiny Hawk 3. Uh, looks like it's a more traditional square design, X design, not like a stretched X. It is still inverted, of course. And these are, look like these are the 40 millimeter propellers as usual. 450 milliamp hour battery in the bottom here. It looks like you only get one battery. Okay, so you get a bag with all of this stuff in here. So um, you get your battery charger. It just charges by uh, USB, a micro USB cable. You get this extra mounting stuff. It looks like a, looks like a, like a GoPro type mount here. This is for the transmitter, so you can use the screen on the transmitter if you want to, if you don't want to use the goggles. Uh, so basically for those of you that have problems with glasses, for example, you can attach the um, monitor to the transmitter and use it that way. Now, some people prefer to fly that way, so this is a nice option. That's what these mounts are for, and then you get a little baggie of um, spare parts, screws, and a screwdriver, rubber bands for the battery. A couple of antennas for the um, FPV monitor or the goggles. And then you have some spare props. Got a QR code here for the support site um, and also for the manuals. This little Allen key, I'm not really sure what this Allen wrench is for, probably for adjusting some sort of a screw. And that's everything that's in the case, you know, and it comes in your nice case, of course, uh, to carry around all your stuff. Okay, so I want to look at the transmitter first because this is probably the most important change. The previous generations of their ready fly kits were, you know, the transmitters weren't very good. They didn't have very good precision, so they have replaced these gimbals. They feel very nice. They feel like normal gimbals. Uh, these actually feel pretty good. Pretty close to the way my jumper T light feels like, better than the Beta FPV gimbals. So this is a, I'm not sure. I think this is Free Sky D uh, capable transmitter. So of course you got your sticks, you got your trims down here, power button, got a lanyard hook, uh, a few lights up here, three position switches in the front, two position switches up top. This is the back. Uh, so this one uses an 18650 lithium ion cell, very nice. And in the bottom here you've got a, looks like a trainer port and a charging port here, uh, USB type C. I'm not 100% sure if this, I'm oh, sorry, it's not, I'm oh, sorry, this is micro USB. I'm not 100% sure if this is um, simulator ready, it probably is. So on top here there's a little, uh, like a little rubber gasket cover coming up this hole. This is for this little adapter for the monitor. So you're going to slide this out of the way and then it just slots in here. Yeah, so there's another um, rubber gasket over here covering another hole and there's a little screw here that's included in that bag and I think this is what the Allen key is for. So you're going to, this holds the, um, this in actually it's, it's uh, there's a little latch there so it should stay in you probably don't need the screws for this is just for extra safety so you can stick that in there and then um, use the allen key to screw that and then that's not going to go anywhere all right so here are the goggles so the screen's detachable it's a pretty low profile I actually like the design I like the colors of you know they, they went away from the white the, the gray is uh, I think it's gonna age a little bit better than the white plastic and also, I think Beta FPV has a exclusivity on white anyway. 
This looks like it has a DVR. So, I haven't looked at the manual or anything. I'm looking at all this for the first time. You guys are, it has two antennas. For, and I'm not sure if it's 100% if it's diversity or just antenna diversity. Uh, I will annotate here if uh, there's information that I have. I'll, I'll note that this power button here, uh, band and channel switches here and menu button. Uh, USB C, or sorry, USB micro USB for charging probably the internal battery. I don't see an external battery anywhere. Let's see if the houses pops off. Oh, so it's just magnetic. Very nice. So uh, it's just. There's no latches or anything. It's a pretty strong magnet. It's not gonna, it's not gonna fall out or anything. Um, we got this uh, plastic screen protector. Yeah, it's a glossy screen. It's very reflective. But inside the goggles, they shouldn't be that reflective. But if you're using this um, on the transmitter, you're probably gonna want some sort of a sunshade to cut down on the reflections. But you know, this is a standard, you know, three strap headband for a lot of these um, typical goggles here. And then you have a nice foam pad. So I'm not able to put these on with my glasses. And um, okay, so I already see a problem here. Looks like, uh, this, okay, so this is retractable, so this has adjustable focus. If it's all the way in like this, this is actually hitting my nose in this area right here. This right here. So I'm gonna need to retract this, and I think you're gonna need to adjust the length of this to um, make the screen focusable. So there's three, uh, clips here, so there's three different uh, lengths that you can adjust to. And now, now that I've uh, moved the plastic frame away, it's totally fine. And I have a little bit of light leakage underneath here in the nose area, that's expected, but it shouldn't affect my ability to use these. All right, so let's finally get to the drone. So um, they've made some improvements to the camera mount here. It's a co totally you know, new design. Uh, I think this is still D8. I'll put all the uh, specs up here on the screen because I, I actually don't I know them offhand because I didn't actually do any of the research. But it, I think they've got, uh, they said they had more powerful motors on this one. Um, so we'll have to see. Still the same 1S battery, but it's basically, you know, an improvement over the um, Tiny Hawk 2. Now they've changed the KV of the motor and everything, so they're focusing now on just 1S only, whereas the Tiny Hawk 2 was 1S and 2S. This is 1S only, so they're just focusing on 1S performance. I think they're going back to the original uh, Tiny Hawk 1 routes where that was only 1S. And while the 2S was interesting, I don't think it really was that attractive. Uh, and also finding batteries for the 2S setup on the Tiny Hawk 2 wasn't that useful either. So I think going back to this sort of 1S setup is going to be the way to go. And this, this looks like, a, like if I compare this to the original Tiny Hawk 1, this just looks like a much nicer setup. It's very low profile compared to the Tiny Hawk 2. Tiny Hawk 2 looked kind of bulky and heavy. Um, this feels much lighter than the um, Tiny Hawk 2 did. All right, so enough uh, chit chat on this one. Let's go ahead and fly this and see how this thing performs. All righty. So I'm just going to start off in angle mode. And yeah, I don't like angle mode at all. Uh, just gonna see how it feels. Luckily there's no wind right now. And no people either. So yeah, flying a little jungle gym like this is gonna be Kind of fun with a model like this. Oh, here comes some wind. All right, let me. Uh, I'm not even going to bother with horizon mode. I'm going to switch straight into air mode or acro mode. 
Okay, all right, it's much better. Now I feel like I'm flying. All right, so yeah, uh, not so great in the wind as expected. I hear an airplane or model airplane. Oh, uh, where is that? Or, I don't know what that sound was. Anyway, um, this controller feels great. It feels like a regular controller. Uh, again, the wind is pushing me around. All of a sudden there's wind. So this is going to be better indoors, of course. And I think they optimized the KV of this motor for efficiency and flight time. So it doesn't feel like it has a ton of performance in it, but I guess so you can do little flips and stuff and rolls. Yeah, but it's gonna drop fast. Yeah, this is kind of more for like gate racing. It seems fine for that. So, you know, again, the wind's kind of hitting it, and all of a sudden you can see, you can see that little bumps and stuff in the video. But uh, totally normal for something this light. So I'm at three and a half volts. Let's see how long this will go in terms of flight time. Again, they, I think they optimize this for more flight time, which is better, especially for beginner. You don't really need like a lot of uh, power and shorter flights. You want uh, less power, more control, and longer flights. So I agree with uh, Emacs here. But yeah, it's pretty, this uh, control is really good. I feel like I have pretty good control. It's just the wind is a little bit of a factor here. Voltage is still at three and a half. Well, flight time is really good in this. All right, let's see if I can go through here. Pretty nice. Yeah, this uh, new controller is uh, light years ahead of the old one. So if you're disappointed with the uh, original controller on the uh, Tiny Hawk uh, 2 kit and the 1 kit, this one is way, way better. And I did test this on another quad. It does bind to other quads in D8 mode. And you can it can bind to multiple quads all at the same time, so you don't have to rebind. So if you're worried about, if you're wondering about flying this with uh, new models later, you definitely can do that. Oh, and we got a flashing light. Time to land. All right, let me know what you guys think.